Welcome back to Chasing News. I'm Bill Spadia. As racial unrest continues after the death of George Floyd, some businesses are inspired to make a difference. In tonight's Chasing the Good, Jane Burnett introduces you to a New Jersey alliance working to fight racism and raise funds for communities in need. Obviously, commencing with the horrendous murder of George Floyd, and all of the stories of systemic racism that started popping out, it really led me to a very strong reaction. Lisa Benke owns Sweat Sanctuary, a dance fitness studio in Westfield. She also is the founder and director of business development for We Work for Change. We are backed by a dedicated committee of volunteers to organize, plan, and execute our mission. The Alliance's goals include acknowledging the nature of racism within the community and promoting awareness and accountability through education without shaming or ostracizing. It is starting here in Westfield. However, we have businesses, we have 25 businesses committed, um, and they are all over Union County right now. Benke says participating shops and restaurants need more time to reopen, before they have days of donation where they'll choose a method to raise money. So far, New Jersey Institute for Social Justice and All Stars Project Incorporated will receive funding. We do hope that, that we have a long-term relationship with them. This isn't just a one-time donation. Hillary Kaplan and Miriam Silver Virga co-own Westfield shop at interior design studio Mimi and Hill Design and are part of the alliance. You can have these feelings at home, but to have a format that business owners can, can get together is is a wonderful thing, especially in a town like ours. Silver Virga moved to the area from Toronto, which she says was more diverse. I did, and so we've been talking about how you make a community that is welcoming to people who are not what the majority of the community looks like. Benke says things will kick off next week. For more information, head to weworkforchange.org. I'm Jane Burnett for Chasing News.